Oh, my hearties, a very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome to our live stream, live on Facebook Live for this morning. Wednesday morning, nothing gets past me, I can tell you. And let's see if we can surpass ourselves here and go for the big one. Excellent stuff. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, I'm Scotty McClure. I'm the world's top broadcaster. I'm the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man. So three major titles there already to date. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Jen Wilson Hilton is watching. Good morning, GWH. Uh, you're self-isolating, says Stephen Say. I am indeed, Stephen. Self-isolating, isolated here, but talking to the globe. So never a bad thing. We can isolate and talk to the globe. Big smile from Rod Hardesty there. Dinky-doo, Scotty, says John Jones. Dinky-doo, Mr. McClue, says Michael Clark. We're just doing the register of who's out there. Susan Forrest watching, dinky do Paul Francis Carroll. I can't believe it. I've just connected up the organ. So you'll get a tune out of my organ. Dan Leslie, dinky do And uh, Rod is watching us now. So there we are. He sent us a smile. And now he's telling us he's watching us. How fantastic is that? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue. Good morning, sir. I hope you're well. Paul Francis Carl, I'm much the better for hearing from you. You should Skype me. I'm on scotty.mcclue on Skype. You could Skype in. Dinky do, Scotty says Jack. Good morning, Jack there. Michael Clark's watching as well. Fantastic. Jack Melies. Uh, Dinky do, says Susan. Dinky do, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll get sharing from the off to let everybody know that we've started. So I'll share this. I've put out Scotty McClue live at 10 a.m. I don't know if you all saw that. So I can share that now in public. And that will let people know there. Cheryl Fields and uh, Alistair King have joined us. How fantastic is that? Wonderful news. Lovely to have you all with us, of course. And um, that seems to be yesterday's. We did very well yesterday. A good few hundred of you joined us. But uh, I'd like a good few thousand this morning. So there's got to be lots of sharing because you could be the finest broadcaster in the world. But if everybody doesn't know you're on, then they're only going to go, Oh, I miss Scotty McClure. I was going to watch that, dinky do. Excellent stuff. So there we are now. What I shall do, there we are there. I'll send this out, send this round, and just put live now on it. Martin Logie, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Martin. Logie or Logie? Which do you prefer, Martin? Do say it's very important to get people's names right, I always say. And uh, very, very nice to have everybody with us. So there you are. Now, I see a lot of you are sending in friend requests. There's a massive, massive backlog of friend requests, guys. So could I ask that you follow Scotty McClure and follow the page as well? There's a, a thing went out. I don't know if you'll get it on the news feed. It says, like and share this page. That's the big Scotty McClure page. I'm just going to share this on the old timeline here. Um, share on a page. So this is going out to the big Scotty McClue page, of which there are around 6,000 of you, which is rather fabulous. Lovely, lovely. And uh, this goes out, this is live now, so I'll just post it. Then it's going out, and everybody should know. And if you can share to all your groups, all your gaming friends, Kareem's joined us, good morning. You got it right first time, Martin Logie. Excellent, Martin, that is good stuff. That is what you shall be known as. We like that. So there we are. Right, that's gone out. Good morning, Scotty. Are we well today? We are, Kareem. How is your good self? <coughs> Don't be put off by the cough, folks. We've had it for 20 years. Um, the um, haircut went down extremely well yesterday. So I thought that was fabulous, Kareem. Everybody enjoyed seeing your number one, your haircut. As I say, I very often go to the German barber to, to Herr Kott, and uh, he is very, very good. And uh, I also go down to the wonderful 
Lynn Donnelly in uh, Orchard Park. Superb, outstanding um, barbers there. Wonderful. Now, uh, more sharing, more sharing. Uh, I'll just share to the Scotty McClure group. Let them know as well. Scotty McClure fan group. Um, yes, for discussion and debate. Oh, no, we don't want to start that. This is a nuisance, this. It starts these watch parties. Yes, I loved your haircut, Kareem, says Jack. <laughs> so that's gone down well, Kareem. Good for you. Excellent stuff. We like that. So there we are. Now then, uh, what have I got here? Let me see what's going on here. Right. So we don't want that. And what we'll do is um, I'll send this out. Yes, yeah, so we don't want that. We don't want that just now. I want that just now, folks. It's, it's saying it's going out in a watch party, and I don't want to share a watch party right now. So I was just going to share with the group. So that should have happened now. If you're on the Scotty McClure fan group, have you just had a pop-up? Junior just woke up Scotty. He's late for homeschool. The good thing about homeschool is he can't get away with being cheeky. Absolutely, Alistair. Good morning to you. And good morning to Junior. Dinky do. Wakey, wakey, I say. Right. There we are there. Ah, yes. All coming flooding back. Uh, guys, also, I can't really take Messenger, certainly not on this device. So if you've sent me a message and haven't had a response, and you said to yourself, well, old so-and-so, I have just responded. I haven't got your message. Uh, he's now watching as well. Yes, this will do for a bit of homeschool here. Happy April the 1st, says Karim. Fantastic. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the coronavirus was an April fool? Oh, and we could all go out, but no such luck, I say. It is very, very serious. Uh, Derry Walker, Dinky Do, Ian Kerr's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Um, just sending to the... Um, story sharing with my story and as i say if you can all do the same guys let's get the little numbers up 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 because the success of this whether i can pop up in the morning or not depends on everybody seeing it there's no point in me popping up if uh, everybody doesn't get to see it so you've got to do your bit and share 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 all the time sharing you know, annoy people. Are you watching Scotty McClue live? You know, because the old guys popped up so that the whole of the nation can join us. Happy April Fool's Day, Scotty. <laughs> you were just kidding there. Excellent stuff. Now, um, what else am I doing here? Hold on. So much sharing going on. We have to get out there. Get this out there, I say. What I'll do is uh, I'll share in a group. So I'll share to the Scotty McClue fan group, but not start a watch party. I don't have many friends on Facebook because I'm kind of new to the platform. Jack, don't you worry. You've just joined us, and that's pretty fabulous. So there you are. So I wouldn't give that another thought, but we do need to let everybody know what's going on. So I'm just sharing to a couple of groups to let them know that we are live. There we are. And one of them is the Scotty McClure fan group. So I'll put that in there. Scott, type SC, up it comes. Wonderful, isn't technology fabulous? So there we are. We're well ahead of the game here, guys. Right, and that goes in there. And uh, all the doubting Thomases. So there you are. Um, Derek Walker, latest news from the hospitals about Mr. Traffic Light. There's still no change. Any good, Stuart Mains watching. James McDonald, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Now that should have shared. So one more group. We'll share to another group, shall we? Yeah, come on, let's keep sharing. Share, share, share. You all do the same, guys. Let's get this off the ground. Big style. Very, very important. Tell your friends, shout on your missus, Scotty McClue's on. Put off your televisions and radios. <coughs> Pardon me, don't worry about the cough. Had it for 20 years. Uh, because if you um, think about it, there's nothing on television or radio that will beat watching Scotty McClue live. 
So there you are, telling you now. Molly Scotty, dinky do. What do you make of Trump's tweet about last year? 37,000 folk died of the common flu. Nothing shuts down. Life goes on, he said. Under 4,000 corona deaths. Think about that. Guys, a liability. Well, I do think what he understands, though, now, although these people might have died of things, there's a difference between dying with coronavirus and dying of coronavirus. Can you spot the subtlety that old McClue's brought up for you there? Do you see the difference? So you could have coronavirus, and that's not actually caused your death. It may have contributed to it. But the fact that you also had pneumonia or whatever else, and it got you. Also, if it's just you had nothing wrong with you at all, you're fit, you're young, you're an athlete, and you get coronavirus and die, as has happened, that's you dying of coronavirus. See where I'm coming from. Molly Scotty, dinky do, says the wonderful Trevor Entwistle. Dinky do, Trevor. Lovely to have you with us. Just sharing in another group here, guys. If I can do as much sharing as possible, you could do the same. We will get the numbers up. People will become aware that we are live. There we are. I'll just put us out on uh, some Facebook pages there. Excellent. There we go. Good. Facebook Live, pop that in as well, and that will let people know, and then we can get on with the show. Miller McToom, dinky do, welcome, welcome, lovely to have you with us. Scream says, Scotty, there was a 90-year-old hero who gave up her ventilator and, and said, give it to the young. She sadly passed away because of this evil virus, a true hero. R.I.P. Requiescat in Pache, Karim. I could not agree more. Uh, Jace Brooks is watching Dinky Do, Jace La. Good banter last night. Well done. Good for you. And I hope you get that sorted out. Alistair King. Jace was attacking McClure, calling him egotistic and all that sort of stuff just because I want to do my bit for coronavirus and for the people. J.M. Rogers, dinky do. Have you shared to the Twitter page? I shared my Instagram, says Jack. Now, everybody can follow me on Twitter. Uh, very, very important. So there you are, guys. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. And also, if you can follow me on Facebook on this page, and I'll put the other page up. In fact, I'll tell you where I'll put the other page, guys. I'll put the other page up a, as something in there. There's 28,000 of you joined me there. Fantastic. There's the keep safe wrap. I hope you get all these things. Right. Now, what happens when I do this? Let's see if I can. Um, trying to save the link here, guys. What does embed do? What happens if we embed it? <laughs> would that uh, would that help you guys? So there we are. I'm using new technology and old technology mixed. Jack says, have you shared the Twitter? Yes. Give me a call when you get a minute, says Steve Mack. So there you are. Uh, wonderful stuff. I don't know what you're saying, Steve. I don't know what you mean. Um, do you know Kev, says William Hanna. I know lots of Kevs. Who was born in a stable? and had millions of followers. Red Rum. So I was once very, very privileged. I don't know why they asked me, because they, they'd asked huge, massive international personalities, George Takai, Sir Douglas Bader, and Scotty McClure was invited to be the chieftain of the Bills Den and Milgai Highland Games, following in the footsteps of these very, very famous people. And the chieftain one year was red rum. So people were going to the local pub saying, do you mind if the uh, chieftain of the Highland Games comes in for lunch? Oh, not at all, bring him in. They were walking red rum round the car park. 
How fantastic is that? I love it. I should have got to meet him, but he didn't turn up as a past chieftain. Scotty, I bet you're not slagging the nurses now. They're doing a fantastic job. Margaret Clintock, I never ever slagged the nurses. That was just to get them a good bit of attention. That was all I did. The McClure show always brightens up everyone's day. Whilst in isolation, this show has become the norm for most of us. It gives us something to look forward to. Away from the telly. Wonderful, Alistair. Thank you for that. Um, oh, yes, I see what's happening there. Right, we'll not do that. It's asking me to copy and paste it now. Uh, I'm just trying. What I'm trying to do is share it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just share this with you. And if you can like it, you'll see that pop up, guys. If you can like it, that'd be great. Danny McNeil's watching. Kevin Stewart, our resident comedian, is watching. Uh, Peel Lemon, where's the bonnet for you, Scotty? The bonnet? Well, I don't want to. I would need to swap to show you. Wait a minute, and I'll show you where the bonnet's. It's actually advertising. The wonderful hogs of Fife. Wait till I get another hat. Oh, uh, what? I'm going to fall off. Hang on. Uh, let me get another hat. If I've got another hat, I could show you where the bonnet's from. Okay, so here we go. There you go, another hat for you. Wonderful. And the bonnet, Hogs of Fife. Now you may, you maybe even see it backwards. Hogs of Fife, there's a nice advert for a bonnet. Fantastic, from good old Hogs of Fife. That's what we like. Do you like the, the old uh, jackaroo here? Um, so there we are. Um, Jack says, did you hear about the 13-year-old boys just died from coronavirus? It just shows anyone could die from it. Absolutely, Jack. Very, very important. And bless that little lad. Uh, want your new radio stations. You know a lot of our presenters. A new radio station. Whoa, Steve. Whoa. I'm very, very flattered, dear boy. Uh, Kevin Stewart, dinky do. Help Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo. Yes, help Scotty McClure get sharing. Gordon Hadley is watching, Dinky Doo Gordon. Randall Taylor is watching. Welcome, Randall. Lots of sharing going on. Which hat, guys? Do you want the Scotty McClure bonnet or the Australian jackaroo? It's up to yourselves. Good morning, Scotty. Stay safe, buddy, says the wonderful Charlie Andrews. My niece works at Medway Hospital in Gilliam. Gillingham or Gillingham? in Kent, the children's ward. We send her love and blessings and to the little ones. I hope they get strong and well, Derek. So do tell your niece next time you're talking that Scotty McClure sends regards to all the doctors and nurses and health workers and care workers and receptionists and porters. All these wonders, the ambulance drivers, the ambulance crew, all these wonderful, wonderful people out there. The bonnet, Sir Trevor Ed was right. We're about to lose the jackaroo. There you go. I'm going to lose the jackaroo. And I'm going to stick on the bonnet. Are we ready? <laughs> Excellent. We had a good few hundred listened yesterday, guys. We want a good few thousand listening. Nearly 6,000 the other day. Uh, Kareem says, Scotty, love the new hat. How's the dog doing? Kareem, the dog is incredible. He just runs about like a hare. I mean, you know, had a stroke. Well, a fibrocartilaginous embolism. A stroke's much easier to explain. Uh, so he's got, he walks a bit like Douglas Bader. Um, but um, the tail going, the shine, the wet nose. Is that biscuits you've got there? All that sort of stuff. You know, incredible, incredible creatures. One of them, he's doing very well with the isolation. Uh, a man who wears many hats. Oh, Kevin Stewart, yes. Yes, am I covering many faces? <laughs> we used to have an old lady phoned one night from, and it's a place with a lot of, uh, with the town clock, Ormskirk. She phoned from Ormskirk. She said, hey, you have more faces than town clock. <laughs> Robert E. Kerr, good morning, Scotty. <coughs> I think I'd done that. Don't worry about the cough. Had it for 20 years. In case you all start panicking, jumping back, jumping back from your devices now. Ian Johnson's watching Dinky Doo. So there we are. I can remember um, a guy once phoned the phone in 
and uh, I could hear he was smoking I heard I said are you smoking he went yeah and I said put it out he went why I said because we're a no smoking program and he said uh, Scotty I've just sparked up I said put it out or go he went oh I'll put it out I'll put it out so anyway got five caps indoors since Derek Walker is that as a rugby internationalist or just for being in your hoots and uh, Michael Yule Dinky do so there we are I've been capped for Scotland uh, the dog will love all the attention because you're staying home. My dogs are. Oh, Kareem, yes. I mean, you don't go out. They can't believe the luck. They come up beside you. You're sort of um, patting them and stroking their neck, and you stop to do something, and they shove your hand. Oi, oi, carry on with that. I was enjoying that. So, <laughs> ah, I love the way the dogs are actually in charge and can tell you things. You know, I mean, people talk about a dumb animal. This is a creature that looks at you and five minutes later you're walking down the road being pulled along by a lead. You know, just looks at you. Scotty, 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 says Chris Lynn. Absolutely, Chris. Dinky do, I say. Let's do more sharing, guys, because uh, we want to get these, uh, these viewing figures up big style. Nearly 6,000 of you joined me the other day. I think the problem is on social media, people think, ah, oh, no, no, he's not. Like this guy that was having a go at me yesterday went, I put on Radio 1 and Radio 2 the other day, and I didn't hear you. Go figure. You know, so I said, well, I didn't hear you. Go figure. So there you are. You know, it's very interesting. Um, because people say, oh, yeah, he's on social media, oh, social media, all that stuff. This is massive. People are watching in America and Australia the lot. I love it. Right, here we go. A bit more sharing. Oh, bit more sharing. I am sharing. Right, there we are. Ooh, I've got something for you this morning. I'll tell you all about it. Don't know what I will do on returning to work of a new puppy who's following me everywhere. Oh, Trevor, give him a hug and a kiss from Scotty McClue. How wonderful. Dogs can read a person's body language better than humans can. Of course, dogs are non-verbal. And I've worked with young people who were non-verbal because um, I'm a speech teacher, uh, you know, and, and what have you. And, uh, you know, we were working, obviously, on... Uh, and the sign language, and of course, because somebody's non-verbal doesn't mean they're not a genius. And we just had a normal conversation, and I would sort of say, uh, could you ask, uh, you know, Mr. McWackle if, if we can have that? And they would have a little talking machine, just pop it in like a calculator and disappear. Wonderful. Uh, social media is the new radio. Well, you know, you're not. Oh, Chris. You'll have to take that comment off, love. You've sworn. There you are. Or, or la. It's not a love. It's not a female Chris. It's a male Chris. Scotty for Prime Minister. Put it up again. Uh, he said Scotty for Prime Minister, but there's a swearing word, and we don't swear in people's houses in the morning. Um, how do dog catchers get paid? By the pound. Stop! Very good, actually. Kevin Stewart's jokes can be very good, but I'm glad that his missus is there just to stop him going, OTT, OTG, excellent stuff. Right, more sharing. Get more sharing going. Where are we sharing to? Why am I doing all the sharing this morning? Come on, guys. You can all do it. You've all got mice and clickers. You can all get sharing. Tell people about Scotty McClue. I'm going to share to another page. Scotty McClue, global radio and television producer. That'll do me. Right, there we go. Just shared. And as I say, if you can all do the same. Got two brushes for cat grooming. Wendy does the top of the head and me her back. Well, she'll know if she's putting up with that. She'll know all about it. I once thought I'd lost my dog as a wee sporting Labrador. He went into a river and spit. 
and all I saw was this little black head bobbing down, and my girlfriend at the time said, and I thought, we've lost the dog. I thought, I can't go into a river and spate. And, of course, I was just almost struck, dumb with it, with anxiety. Anyway, next thing, out he gets. Oh, I thanked God. I thanked the world, the universe. Out he got. Then he put himself back in again. <laughs> and I was telling somebody about it, and he said, well, don't get me wrong. I mean, they can't help themselves, but he obviously felt comfortable with that. <laughs> and also, so intelligent, says Jack. Already shared, says Rod Hardesty. Good, Rod. Excellent stuff. Dogs are better than humans. They're the most loyal pets. I find it very comforting after a difficult day to have my dog in my lap petting him. It's so relaxing. I know what you mean. Shared Scotty McClure, says Kareem. Thank you, Kareem. Very much appreciated. Uh, Brenda Hogan says, Scotty used to laugh all the way to bedtime with your hilarious night shows. I am glad you got them, Brenda. We used to talk about who got it and who didn't. Uh, Chris Lynn. Oh, I think we'll have to block you, Chris. What a shame. Right, that's Chris blocked. He's obviously an idiot. Uh, radio sucks. Bit like um, it was all about music videos. Now it's about reality TV. Radio is much the same. No more school talk shows. Old school talk shows. Radio's moved on too quickly. I can remember a guy getting very, very excited. I mean, it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but I went in and did classic old school broadcasting and played the national anthem at the end of the night. And he came in and he said, it's wonderful. I said, what's wonderful? He said, what you're doing? I love it. I said, what am I doing? It's just radio. He went, no, it's like proper broadcasting. It's like proper British radio. It's like listening to the radio when I was a kid. I said, but that's how radio should be. And I have this argy-bargy with some ILR programmers that go, well, Scotty, where am I going to put you? We're a hit radio station. And I say, but Scotty McClure is a hit. Do you get it? You know, and they don't get this. And they hear this old guy in his tweed cap bumbling on about, you know, turbine steamers and broadcasting and relationships and life. And they, they think, no, no, I think we'd be better with some music. They just don't get it because they don't know that the nation all knows Scotty McClure anyway. So they know what they're getting. You see what I mean? And if people don't agree and get cut off, so what? Put your toys away, dry your eyes, come back on the next night. Very careful around the dog, Scotty. Partly the COVID-19 came out of a lab in Wuhan. What are you like? Most of my food gets tested in a lab, a black lab. Jack says, there's no excuse for not watching Scotty McClure. The stream's available across all devices. It is, Jack. And uh, yesterday I said, it's no secret that all of the human race, every member of the human race, should watch at least one Scotty McClure show per day. All right? At least one. So there we are. Get shading, everybody. Share, share, share. Lol, Scotty, when I hit the share button, it's well freaky. Share to the moon is the only option I've ever seen. Ian Johnson, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Uh, that's what radio was first predicted on. Broadcasters talking. First predicted on. Is that predictive text? Robert T. Kerr. Um, yes, people were talking. And there was a very senior appointment at the British Broadcasting Corporation called Head of Talks. There we are. Uh, aye, all the high dusting going on now, Scotty. Houses are very clean, says Brenda Hogan. Absolutely. Stephen Elder, hi, Scotty. Been listening to you for donkeys. You're a top man. Stephen Elder, I've been listening to you for donkeys as well. You're a top man. Kevin Stewart, lol, Scotty. Annabella Portius, 
Morning all. Morning, Annabella. Lovely to have you with us. Davy Shepherd's watching Dinky Doo. Oh, time for a sip of the Errol Grey. Oh, that's lush. Very, very nice. Uh, radio was predicated. Now you're talking, Robert T. Kerr. Radio was predicated on talk shows. And uh, that, that's what's popular. Robert Baird uh, predicated Scotty. Sorry. No, not at all. You were just throwing me a little bit of thinking, is this a word I don't know here? Morning from Edinburgh, says the wonderful Angela Kennedy. Good morning from Edinburgh, Angela. Good morning to Edinburgh from the rest of the universe. A very quiet Edinburgh. The last time, the last time I saw Edinburgh that quiet was uh, on a Flag Day collection. So there we are. Very interesting. <laughs> Earl Grey was a tea baron in Newcastle. Yes, well, I don't know about uh, how he made his money, that Earl Grey, but I would imagine it's the same one. And you will see he was the MP, I think. So in the main street in Newcastle, there's Grey Street, and there's a great big monument to Errol Grey, so I'm assuming it's the same one. But do correct me if it's not Sai Kwai Tang. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Sai Kwai. It's so quiet we can't sleep in. Oh, it's so quiet we can't sleep. <laughs> Edinburgh's so quiet we can't sleep. Zay Kwai Tang, dinky do wedding anniversary Friday. Me and the missus, 22 years. Excellent. Friend of mine's 21 years married, and he says he can't remember breaking three mirrors. Um, Eldon Square is opposite in Newcastle. Yes, yes. Very good, Kevin Stewart, because remember, I walked to Newcastle. No a bad day, a wee bit nippy, but bra and bright. Bra and bright, Annabella. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful stuff. Gordon Sterling's watching. Now, what a top man he is. So there you are. He can do anything from operate an angle grinder to play the bagpipes to tell you about what was on the A135 chassis in Austin in 1955. So there we are, the A135. Anybody else know? Uh, See Meryl Gray, says Rod Hardesty. Ah, now Rod Hardesty stays uh, around that area. He's walked to Newcastle, so he'll be right. Well done, Rod. I thank you. And I trust Rod Hardesty 100%. So there you are. A very, a very street talker, a very upright character, and um, very, very good on knowledge. So there you are. In fact, um, he actually... I was doing, when I'm going to fess up here, I was doing a classic music test live on the radio, and a guy phoned in, I said, ask me anything, <laughs> and he phoned in to ask about um, the opera. Who did the opera? And it was one I couldn't for the life of me remember, and I was going, it'll come back to me, it'll come back to me, and Rod very kindly popped it in my earphone. What about that? So thanks for that, Rod. Got me out of a tight corner there. Iron Man, says Charlie Andrews. What movie do you hear the call sign Iron Man on the radio? What movie do you hear the call sign Iron Man on the radio? Question from McClue. Good morning, Scotty, it says the wonderful John Ball. Morning, John. My grand and granddad are 53 years happily married. Wow, Jack, that is serious business. Uh, so there we go. That is, that is fantastic. My parents just missed the 50th. I think, yes, dad died a couple of years short of the 50th. But my grandparents would have been... Let me tell you, 109 years married. Yes, married 30 years the day. There we are. Fantastic. Fantastic, Jack, says Derek Walker. There we are. Uh, where Eagles Dare? No, Kevin Stewart. It's not Where Eagles Dare, one of McClure's favorite films. 
Queen Eagle's deer is broadsword calling Danny boy. Broadsword calling Danny boy. There we are. And uh, give me another Alistair McLean. Annabelle, this is cowslip. What's that from? You solicitor to your L107, Scotty, or Craig Boyd. L107 was a cracking station, but it broke my heart because we had a stewardship problem. And uh, so it's it, it was such a shame. And that's what clobbered L107. It wasn't the... Um, it wasn't the fact that there was a financial crash. It was the fact that we had a stewardship problem and it ruined the radio station. I was so sorry because two years I tried to save that radio station from closure and uh, managed for two years and then just, you know, you couldn't do any more. Uh, but another radio station I launched, Central FM, uh, it was center sound then. 30 years old in June, in about eight weeks, and still on air and successful. A lot of people working for it. Wonderful Jane McDonald's watching. 25 years married. Delightful people. Uh, the Day of the Jackal, says Kevin Stewart. No, it wasn't the Day of the Jackal. I don't know that there was radio contact on the Day of the Jackal. So, where eagles dare, broadsword calling Danny Boy. Then there's another one, Annabelle, this is cowslip, right? What's that one on? And then what was the other one we were looking at there? We're looking at another one there. You've put me off now thinking about Weird Eagles Dare. Oh, yes, Iron Man. So there we are. Iron Man was one of the, uh, one of the coal uh, handles. So we've got to know... What movie was that in? Iron Man. Uh, so there we are. It wasn't the Day of the Jackal, but that was a fabulous movie. Fending for size, the Day of the Jackal. Yes, there's so many great movies. When they come on, you still watch them again. Iron Man, Scotty, says Charlie Andrews. Yes, but we wanted to know what movie was that the call sign in? Time for more Al Grey. Guys, can we have a massive share? Can everybody watching share right now to as many places as you possibly can? What I will do, I will uh, pop this up on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel after we broadcast. And also, if you can keep sharing it, because a lot of people haven't seen it. And sometimes you get a self-centered, greedy, thoughtless individual that will go, we've seen this. And I'll say, you've seen this, millions, billions haven't. That's why I share so much, you know. I once had a guy going, I, 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 I don't think you're doing yourself any favours on Facebook by sharing things, Scotty, you know. No, no, I would, just a bit of friendly advice. I thought, clear off. There we are, there we are, Scotty, we're millions and millions have seen the Facebook shows. Tremendous. But the difference between getting a few hundred and a few thousand, like the other day with nearly 6,000, yesterday I think with 1,200, something like that. Do you know what I mean? I want everybody to be watching this because we know it's a cracking show. Nothing to do with me, to do with you. You guys make the show. That's what it's all about. It's the people's program. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. I mean, I'm not making anything out of this at all or getting anything out of this, but I do want to do my bit. When people are self-isolating, let's all get together and chit-chat live on Facebook Live. Self-centered, you've got a photo of yourself behind you in the same cap. Mon the Scotty. Nala Nugget. These were given to me, look. There's one taken. Yes, graduation. There's another one given to me. Look, see, presented to me. There's one behind with the cap on. Yes, we've got, there it's there. But that's just sitting in on a photo of my grandpa. There's grandpa going off to the First World War with, the, I think it was the Argyles. Either Argyles or Seaforths. Um, so there we are. 
and uh, and that's you. So less of it, I say. Self-centered. How self-centered you? Shocking. Uh, was there the movie Convoy? No, Ian Watson. Convoy, it wasn't, but great stuff. Uh, the Cruel Sea was on a couple of weeks ago. Amazing. Some people may not be on Facebook, but will be on another platform like YouTube. Absolutely, Jack Millers. And as you know, we do uh, some YouTube pop-ups. haven't done one for a few days. Grandpa's rule, says Nala Nagud. So there you are. So Nala Nagud, just you take all that self-centered stuff back. There we go. John Marshall and Connie Crawford, Thomas Peden sharing with them. Come and join us. Thank you, do. We'll have another share, guys. Very important. Share with as many things as you can. I said to, I don't know, I met an absolute gent when I was out with a dog. And uh, he used to run something really, really big in this country. And I was chatting to him. And uh, he's had his knees done. And uh, he said, how are you keeping? I said, not too bad. I said, but I need to lose a little bit of weight because a doctor friend said I might have trouble in later life. And he went, this is later life. <laughs> we love it. Uh, Scotty Whiskey Galore from the HMS Politician Radio. No, it was the SS Politician. She wasn't an HMS. She was carrying whiskey for America. Tell 10 to tell 10. Do you know that I think there were prosecutions for these poor wee islanders after that for, uh, you know, nicking the whiskey? Jack Hawkins, The Cruel Sea. Annabella Potty is your 100% and... Donald Sinden, Megs Jenkins. Oh, a full star cast on there. Um, because of the coronavirus, Dick Turpin has retired. Well, no point in hanging around in a forest with a couple of old flink locks and a mask on if nobody's coming. Uh, I was already watching Thomas. Happy birthday, Damascus, says John Marshall. You need to tell us about this one. Uh, loads of money, yes, some went to uh, jail, says Kevin Stewart. Is that right, Kevin? You're, you're a walking encyclopedia chum. Excellent to have you on. Are you just taking a break from the idiots on YouTube? Well, Jack, yes, I would like YouTube to become a bit more like this. Do you think that's wishful thinking on my part? You know? Uh, another guest, Smokey and the Bandit. No, it wasn't Smokey and the Bandit. Fantastic film. Well, Smokey and the Bandit, did it have Boss Hog in it? Boss Hog, son! You go get him, boy! Uh, love the old movies, says Annabelle and Porteous. Well, they just come up and it's fantastic. What about I Know Where I'm Going? The Very Early 39 Steps with Robert Donat. Did the wife make you some dumplings, Scotty? I just can't get the recipe right. Tastes nothing like my late grand's. Oh, my mother's dumpling, there's a huge big skin on it, and you sliced it up, and it just kind of fell apart. Beautiful fruit dumpling. And, of course, a lot of people like to fry a bit of dumpling. Morning, Scotty. This is my new favorite show, says Erin Foy. Erin Foy, I thank you. Uh, where's the Sherlock Holmes statue in Edinburgh, says Annabella Porteous. Now, it's down near the playhouse. What street's it on? I need to know what street it's on. And it's it's not, it's for, um, it, the statue's for the author. So is the statue actually Sherlock Holmes or is it for the author? That's what we need to check out. Yes, but what street is it on? I've seen it. I've seen it. So there we are. Yes. Right, it'll come back to me. Uh, just getting a few messages all quiet outside. No queues. Crow Road Retail Park Shops well stocked. Gordon Robertson, top man. Thank you for that. Will not be well stocked for very long after this. Apologies for lateness again. Gordon Robertson, I should think so. Although I have to say, during the coronavirus, there are no penalties for turning up late to a Scotty McClue show. The penalties are... If you knew it was on, you didn't watch. Tut, 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 tut. That would be the thing there. Why have I got that slightly 
shiny bit to the side. Hey, strange. I'll move that. Does that help? Right, there we are. That helps it a bit. Uh, thanks, John Marshall. Damascus is very happy. It's hard being 3,000 years old. Well, I should know. Uh, Katrina Neal's watching. Katrina Neal. Now, it's in Gaelic. So, is it Katrin O'Neill in Gaelic? Is that right? Yes, Boss Hog, Sorrow Book. Now, was that the same guy that was in one of the James Bond movies? And Bond's driving like a lunatic. He's going, oh, hey, here, go get him, boy. Yes, was that right? Am I right, Ian Watson, who's in a James Bond movie? He's got all the credit cards. Hey! And the wife and that. Was that the same actor? Um, where's Charisse, says Derek. I know, we haven't seen Charisse for a while. Clutie Dumpling, bra, dried by the fire. Whoa. Yes, married by the Bible. I think we should try and get YouTube to the same level of maturity as Facebook. Jack, would this not be brilliant on YouTube? The problem I've got on YouTube, guys, if you all like to follow me, on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe, and it means we can also pop up in YouTube, but I need to add some maturity. There's a lot of young people on there who think you just be daft. They don't understand that this is information, education, entertainment, the lot. Wonderful. Union Place, Scotty. It's Union Place. And is it Sherlock Holmes himself, and is it in memory of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Do tell, spill, Charlie. Kevin Stewart, pick a de place, Scotty. And it's Sherlock Holmes, not Conan Doyle. Pick it, so it's not Union Place. Union Place is Aberdeen, is it not? Charlie. Uh, was that Union Street? Union Street's Aberdeen. Pick a de place. Yes, Kevin Stewart. I will go with that when I'm, I'm going with Kevin Stewart, Charlie Andrews because I know it's Picardy Place. He's just jogged my memory. Sherlock Holmes. Yes, Sherlock Holmes with the deer stalker, the back and front, the what they call a go-to-hell hat. <laughs> Is it York Place, the statues beside the pub? Annabelle Porteous. York Place is right beside it, but I think the statue is in Picardy Place. Kevin Stewart's got it. Live and let die. Live and let die. And is that the same actor, Kevin Stewart? When he gets in, Bond takes over the car. They, they sort of go crashing over the bridge. Crashing over the bridge, sorry. It was too high with my example there. Crashing over the bridge. And he goes, ah, oh, you get him, boy. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Great actor. And he's, he's chewing tobacco at the same time. No, it wasn't the same actor. Ah, right. So it's not the same as Boss Hog. Similar idea, though. Uh, to Boss Hog, William Henning Jimison. I had a friend who called his uncle Boss Hog. <laughs> he just called him Boss. Oh, Boss was furious about it. You know, his uncle used to do his nut. Uh, William Henning Jimison, there's a big name, if ever I heard one. Did you ever watch a program called Bethlehem Year Zero? Thomas Peden, you've got me there. I did not. So do tell the spill, spill. Is Sherlock Holmes himself, Scotty? Yes, the statue is Sherlock Holmes, but does it not say at the bottom, in memory of Arthur Conan Doyle or something? Sure there's a mention of Conan Doyle. Was he born in Picardy Place then, Conan Doyle? No, Scotty, Sorrel Brook wasn't in any Bond films as far as I know. Right, Ian, so I'm mixing them all up, but do you know the film I'm talking about at the moment? Am I right? There's a kind of similarity, that kind of, um, you know, uh, American, South American guy. Not South American, but uh, sort of uh, sort of Southerner cowboy style. Uh, WD, uh, Kevin, Dinky Doo, Charlie Andrews. Who's that? Is that friend Charlie? There's a lot of hackers on YouTube. I'm not keen on it after last time, Scotty. I really got my back up with that idiot cloning. The profile. Yeah, the problem is, I think, in the chat, Alistair, I mean, I wouldn't get your back up at all. It's not worth it. But the problem is on the chat, I think when you get rid of them, they can create another account. And some of their accounts weren't too polite in the name. They're very, very puerile, childish people. Um, you know, so I need to get 
the adults on YouTube. So instead of saying you're not keen on it, if you're not keen on something, Alistair, what do we do? We make it better. We make it to suit us. Yeah, we don't just leave it. Uh, Z Cars or Taxi? Was that a film you were looking for? Uh, no, John Jones, I wasn't. But I do remember Z Cars. Dee, 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 dee. Kevin Stewart, yes. He was born in Piggery Place. So Arthur Conan Doyle, born in Piggery Place. And of course, also in the West End of Edinburgh, you had Robert Louis Stevenson. Uh, he died in England, says Kevin Stewart. Who, who did Conan Doyle? Yep. Um, Robert Louis Stevenson. And, of course, his family was Stevenson's The Lighthouse People that did all these, built these beautiful lighthouses. Incredible. More sharing, guys. What can we share to? Um, oh, share to a page. Now, this morning, I'm not going to give you a tune on the box. All right? I'm not going to give you a tune on the box. Um, but I do have something else I can give you a wee tune on if you'd like. Uh, so there we are. Yay. That's the winner. Just doing another share here, guys. Live now. If you can all do the same. Live now. Off it goes. Wonderful. Um, Yes, me and Alistair both had our YouTube channels impersonated. We say we don't want that, Jack, you know. Not at the keyboard for a while, says Alistair King. Do you know, Alistair, funny you should say that, because I actually have the keyboard here, and I thought I might give you all a wee tune, if you'd like that, you know. So there we go. A wee tune the keyboard. <laughs> indeed. I'm not just an athlete, you know. Rob Randall, hi from Scarborough. The ice cream vans outside need to run. Very, very funny, Gordon. Oh, no, sorry, that was John Marshall. Very funny, Gordon. No ice cream van. Very good, we like that. Get a man of many talents, Mr. McClure. No, not at all. Corey Crawford. Do you know old Cotton Picker? That's my Wayne's favourite on the keyboard. Oh, Connie. There's one that's just escaped me. C Majors, says Paul Francis Carroll. Um, actually, Paul, no. But I can see where you're coming from. There might be a wee transposition there. Lol, says Kevin Stewart. Annabella Portius. You can't shove your granny off a bus request, please. How long have you been playing the piano for? I've been playing for six or seven years. Um, Jack, uh, just this week. No. <laughs> No, a bit longer, a little bit longer. Ian Watson, The Car Gang Over the Cliff. I think the Bond movie was The Spy Who Loved Me. The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, so there you are. Do you know the piano's on my foot? No, but if you can shout along, I'll join in. Uh, woo! Lol, so talented Scotty, you should have a duo with me on the harmonica. Absolutely, Alistair. You get on that harmonica big style. So there we are. Excellent. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're listening to Scotty McClure and you're watching Scotty McClure. Do you know I've got you by the stones? <laughs> Thank you, John Marshall. Very, very good. <laughs> Do you know I've got you watching live on Facebook Live? 
<coughs> Tell everybody about this wonderful program, guys. Get sharing and sharing. More shares. Another big, massive share by everybody, please. Very important. If you do that, I'll give you a wee treat before we finish. Um, one especially for my dear friend, Paul Francis Carroll, one of the finest organists in the world. Uh, what's your most favourite James Bond actor? I loved, do you mean all the actors or the Bond characters? I loved Desmond Llewellyn as Q, Luke Bond. Um, I loved Lois Maxwell as Miss Moneypenny. Um, I saw Lois Maxwell in, I think she was in The Saint the other day. Was on a lot of the old stuffs on the telly, uh, you know, nothing to beat Scotty McClure and Facebook Live, of course, but some good stuff. Um, yes, now who the first James Bond, Kevin Stewart, was, um, was uh, oh, that's terrible, David Sniven, yes, on the radio, on the radio. Ken Barlow would have made a cracking James Bond. Yes, absolutely, Thomas. Jeff Bernstein. I think Scotty McClure would have made a good James Bond. So there you are. And uh, or maybe a blow felt. <laughs> um, that sort of idea. Uh, who, who my favourite James Bond? I loved Roger Moore. You know, Roger Moore was great fun. Um, just a wee April Fool. Love the show, pal. Says John Marshall. Not at all, John. April Fool. Who's up here, McClure, you know what I mean? Who is the April Fool, we say? George Lazenby. Now, George Lazenby, as far as I know, was just in one on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And he was very good as that. I don't know why he didn't come back. First film, Bond, I think, David Niven in the original Casino Royale. Was that right, James Bond? Because the way that Ian Fleming had written James Bond, he was that kind of uh, blower Bentley driving character. My favourite James Bond's also Roger Moore. So sad he had to die. Yes, wonderful uh, James Bond. I do like Piers Brosnan as well. I loved Sean Connery, of course. He was fabulous. He's your man, really, isn't he? Christopher Mark is watching Dinky Do. You could be Odd Job Scotty. Yes, yes, Odd Job. Right, watch yourselves. I'll fling this hat. <laughs> Ray, Odd job. <laughs> there we are. Wonderful stuff. No, it wasn't. It came later. David Niven was the first film comedy. Yes. And then Sean Connery took over. Is that right? Carl Carlos Stanley, Dinky Doo, Louise Sullivan. Hello, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Louise. A very fine broadcaster there. Scotty, good morning. Hope you're staying safe. I'm doing my best, Carl Carlistani, and I'm trying to keep the rest of the world safe. But we need lots more sharing. Jeff Bernstein. Bob Holness was the first Bond on the radio. Roger Moore was the best Bond, in my opinion. He was always great in The Saint and The Persuaders. Yes, well, that was Lou Grade. When uh, Lou Grade had Tony Curtis signed up, and he wanted um, Roger Moore, and he called Roger into the office at ATV, then he said to him, Roger, big cigar, Lou. He said, Roger, I want you to play uh, in the Persuaders. And he said, um, you know, Lou, it's not for me. I've had a look at it. I don't think it's for me, really. And he said, Roger, just hold on. He went over to his desk drawer. He took out a check, pre-written, and handed it to Roger Moore. And he said, Roger, that's for starters. And he said, Lou, when do I start? <laughs> and somebody said recently, very famous saying now, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens. There you are. He could choose entertainment. Scotty, can you give a wee shout out to Bert, please? He's one of Agnes's old lovers from the 60s. Ah, yes. Bert Dinky Doo from Gordon, who is one of Agnes's new lovers from the the two thousands, <laughs> from the eighties. <laughs> Only teasing Gordon. I know you could take a wee joke. Louise Sullivan's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Louise. That is excellent. Right, 
Time for a treat for you lot, then I must go. I must go. Right, here you go. Last one. straight off right that's it folks I have to dash now have a wonderful day spend the rest of your day sharing this program with everyone you know on Facebook from me Scotty McClure to every single one of you have a gorgeous day take care of your dear selves stay in stay safe stay fabulous dinky doo